He's going down here. Oh, shit. This is him. The Defiler. Destroy Malkaron. Get him, Drake. Boom. Shields up. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Fuck him up. All right. What do we need? We need some... Let's hit him with the heavy shit, huh? Let's get him marked for death. Creep! Creep! Okay. Look, I can just come in here swinging up top. Let's also eat some cooked beef. So we swing a bit faster. Oh! Yo, good thing this dude ain't even attacking me. Oh shit! Ah! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had traveled out to the furthest reaches of Skyrim on the western end, yes, none other than the Reach itself, where they finally recovered and fulfilled their end of the deal bargain with none other than the Daedric Prince Clavicus Vile. It was there that they found none other than, you guessed it baby, the Rueful Axe, in the possession of a strange man that apparently they had heard of before. It was the same one whose daughter or whatever was a wolf or vampire or something. It was that guy from that story not long ago. Nonetheless, the Dragonborn made their way not back to Clavicus Vile just yet, but indeed further along through the reach and up towards Solitude, where they found the Steed Stone, a powerful ancient standing stone that granted them unlimited power. And as well did they find, yes, the Shrine to Meridia of Meridia, where they spoke with Meridia and she whisked them up high up into the sky, into the clouds where they talked to her glowing balls. And there did she say, Dragonborn, go down into my shrine and kill these sick bastards inside. They're really gross. Get rid of them. I hate them. They're all nasty. And the Dragonborn said, sure. <laughs> and so it was. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Welcome back. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let us consume some baked potatoes. A sweet roll, perhaps? No, a rabbit haunch. I think is more, yes, is more our speed. There we go. Let's get a little healing going on just as well. Zoom. Good. Now, let's get up here and get ready to beat some ass. Let's see. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know why I just psyched myself out there a little bit, but it's a-okay. Let's see, how many more of these grand soul gems do we have? Oh, we're full of them. Okay, fucking A. Alright, let's go on up over here. I don't know why I'm still doing this anyway. It's a bad habit. Or a good habit, perhaps. You know what? Maybe it's a good one. There we go. Let's get Dre out. Oh shit, that ain't Dre. Oh, do we have enough juice? Shit. Oh, I ballsed it up. Oh well, let's get some shielding. Level up alteration a bit. Doink. Gotcha. Good. Oh. There we go. Cool. Dope. Love it. Alright, let's check their piles of ooze. Alright. Imperial swords. Steel swords. Look at this horrific sort of fog, right? Good lord. Oh, shit. This one was over here looking at some urns. There we are. Oh, cool. Look at this. We're fucking dispatching foes left and right. All right. What have you got? Bone meal. Wow. I can't believe it. Let's turn the lights on here. Good. Oh, there's a deuteroo up there. Can I blast him down? Can I give you the old foos? <laughs> It's made them stumble. <laughs> All right, not exactly the effect I was looking for, but I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit. Can you get them, Ilya? There's some sort of super dope sniper. Oh, jeez. Look, how do I even get up there? It's all caged off, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe I can Zapparoo them. Can I give them the old Zapparoo? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Lightning bolt. Zapparoo! Zapparoo! 
<laughs> Did you like that? That's my shout. <laughs> my Zapparoo shout. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Let's. We may as well just loot this stuff. What's this dude gonna do? Kill me? Come on. All right. Let's see over here. Yeah, some money. Love it. What's in this? Oh, it's empty. Bunch of messed up plates and stuff. Ooh, another piece ah! of plate. Oh shit, I took the plate. Okay. Anything else? Knock some shit around. There's a hand. Okay, where are you at, dude? I'm ready to zapparoo again. I don't even know. Where is this dude gone? Oh, uh, they're hiding behind the wooden barricade. I see. Okay. Can I top myself off? No, I cannot. Unfortunately enough. Alright. Well, let's make our way up here. Did we investigate everything? Looks like skulls, some pots and pans, more messed up pews and benches, or whatever you would call these. Let's turn on the lights. Beautiful. And let's get a little bit of this. These are like for the the greeters or something? <laughs> they greet everyone as they walk into the, the chamber? Why are those chairs there? That's very bizarre. Okay. Oh, hey. It's Barbus. Oh, I can hear another one through the through the door. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Let's give this the old hocus pocus. Cool. It is blasted over the yonder. If I stand in the blast, does it do anything? Will this hurt me? Oh god, it does! Ooh! Okay. It does like shock damage. Okay, interesting. Let's see, let's take care of you. Yeah, this is a different one, not the one from earlier. Yeah, the sniper is still on our dude dar. There we are. Great. Love it. Barbus is charging in. Another imp sword. Over here? Maybe Barbus will disarm all the traps. Okay. Anything else? No. Another big urn. Barbus can be like the rogue of the group. Weirdly enough, it's not me. <laughs> Maybe you would have expected it to be me, but uh, eh, it's Barbus, the dog. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. So I guess, you know what? We, we really are not doing much in the way of rogue shit, are we, right? Let's see over here. All things considered. Well, I guess, I guess stealing and pickpocketing and lockpicking. That's about as, as all the rogue shit I'm, I've been doing. All right, let's see. Disarm some of this. Ooh, shit, it's a master lock. Holy hell. All right. Let's see. Shit. Okay, okay. This music is for this encounter here, the lock. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> All right, all right, we can do it, we can do it. Mmm. Mmm. Down a bit, maybe? Oh, that was it. Oh, nailed it. Snailed it, baby. Snailed it. Thank goodness there wasn't a second one hidden behind this desiccated corpse. Or desecrated. All right. Should I heal up? Do I need healing? I don't think I did. All right. What's in here? Oh, a little strong box. Ring of major health. Neat. I'll take all these. Why not? Another chest. Goodies within. Some fun shoes. True shot. Plentiful stamina. A candlestick. We could take the candlestick. It is quite valuable, but... Hey, you know what? We got the carry weight. Look at us. We're living in a whole new world where we can just carry around all sorts of dumb shit. I mean, granted, we have been carrying around a lot of dumb shit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Inside of here? Oh, more goodies. Love it. Okay. Let's see. No traps, from what I can tell. Pull the lever. What does it do? I don't know. Weird. What does it do? Oh, and what's the purpose of this? For people to, like, chill out by the fire, or what? Right here? <laughs> Just all of the ancient Nords of yore come huddle around in this little crevice? Sure. Love it. Okay. Where is that sniper elite at? Oh god, where is... Where is that dude at? Huh. Where has this dude gone? 
Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Fuck. <laughs> oh man! All right, foiled again by the the jumping situation. All right. Yeah, it felt I was I was pressing my space bar, but it seemed like it was on a delay. Maybe be oh, I guess my character's footing wasn't stable enough. Like maybe because of the ramp, it thought that I was in the midst of falling. Right, like I was in mid-air when I pushed spacebar to jump, so it didn't take. That's my, uh, that's my secret, and I'm going with it. Let's see, right here. Oh, here we are. Cool. Oh, jeez, Gordon. Oh, no, wait, that's not even Gordon, that's Ilya. Okay. Dude, you know there's gotta be a secret over there. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to fling myself over. Whirlwind sprint time. Let's see. Should I go on top of this? Oh, it hurts. Ah! What? There's nothing? Oh my god, what a ripoff. Oh, uh, what the fuck? That is fucked up. Okay, can we go over to this one maybe? Just gotta wait for our screen to come back. Alright, here we go. Yeah! Boom! There we are. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Oh, I guess you would have normally walked around. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Jeez, look at all these dudes. Who was doing this? If we're to assume that all of the the ghosts and stuff are these people, right? Hence their weapons, right? They're using Imperial and Stormcloak steel weapons, I'm assuming, right? It's to mimic the ancient, or not ancient even, but the, the years and years of war and toil and everything, all of the hatred, right? Maybe that's what it's meant to represent, but who's doing it? I guess whoever the final yeah! boss is, right? Go. Yeah! Yeah! Dope. What have you got? Ghostly remains. A steel greatsword. Alright. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm assuming the ones with steel are meant to be, um, storm cloaks, right? But for whatever reason, they just all have the Imperial helmet, right? I don't know. Eh, nothing much. Let's do a little healing. Get some light. Alright, anything in this treasure chest? Ah! Oh, nailed it. What have we got? Six gold pieces, my god. Still, get a little bit of those endorphins, a little bit of that dopamine every time you hear that little jingle jangle go right into your pocket. Mmm, it's good. Alright. I don't think, um, I don't think it would be as satisfying if, if the money currency that you're getting were paper, right? It's kind of key that it's metal, isn't it? That way you get a bit more of a satisfying noise, right? God, why does this look so scary? Let's do a quick save. Yeah, we're fine. All right. Oh, I, oh, and we go up here, I bet. Yeah, to get the upper one. The upper pedestal. Okay. Ho! Oh! Jeez! All right. We're fine. What a weird fucked up trap, huh? Why would they build that? <laughs> Were the ancient Nords also fucked up? Good lord. Where's the uh, ancient ruins in Tamriel? They're from just like friendly people who just like, oh no, you've lifted up my secret treasure from its pedestal. Ooh, you get a free massage. <laughs> Congratulations, you've won a trip to Waikiki Beach. <laughs> Where's that? When when do I encounter that? Ooh, gosh. <laughs> Who's like the uh the very um uh, what would you benevolent ancient uh sort of ruin owner, right? What would that be? I don't know. Gosh, they're all kind of assholes, right? Maybe it's a uh, it's meant to say something like talk shit get hit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anything over here? Uh I mean, really, were the were the ancient Nords so bad? I can't even. I don't even know, right? I mean, 
Maybe they did do bad shit, but, you know, hey. They couldn't be any worse than, like, I don't know, the ancient Dunmer, the Chimer of yore, right? Fucking A. Let's see. Anything over here? Nah. Okay. Let's go on up this way, do a quick save. If anything, you know what it is? You know who has ancient ruins that are filled with a nice surprise at the end? Demons. <laughs> the Daedric Princes. Sometimes there's just nothing evil inside of it, right? Sometimes you just go inside and you have a cool chat with a demon and they're like, Yo, I'm a demon. Can you help me out? I'm having some demon problems. And I need a mortal to help me with that or a legendary prophesied hero of yore. Yeah, once you get done with that, I'll give you this cool thing. And meanwhile, they're all like trying to scare you and shit. They're like, Ooh, I'm a demon. You better look the fuck out, mortal. <laughs> I'll get you. But then as it turns out, their little secret ancient ruin is actually one of the best places to visit, huh? <laughs> all right, take a hundred quat loots here. There we go. Shoot it right up into that. What's it gonna do? Oh, it pops open the door, of course. Okay. Look, is there like a secret on top of this unit right here? No, there's not. Oh, what the hell? See, if this were Fallout, there'd be like a bobblehead or a magazine on top of that. <laughs> All right, let's go on over here. And, oh uh, no, wait, we can just, yep, zoop on down here. Good, I love it. Let's do a quick save as well. And investigate the final area, the Kilcrease Catacombs, Catacombs. Oh my goodness, what magical shit lurks within. Okay, let's do another quick save just in case. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I mean, in this case, you know, this is a shrine to Meridia, but it's been defiled, right? By who, though? Did they... Did, did the defiler bring all of these bodies here as well? I don't know. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Or maybe all these bodies were just here to begin with. I don't know. Take some of that. Good. A lot of the Nine Divines, they surprisingly don't have, like, shrines or temples this elaborate just out in the wilds, right? Or it's just some cool friendly shit. Yeah, what's up with that? Alright, activate pedestal. Boom! Neat. Okay. Jeez, these people were loaded, though. Maybe that's the common theme, is that they've all got money? I don't know. These, these people have more money than we're finding in the treasure chests. Anything else around here? Nope. Oh, there we go. 20 more quatloos, I'll take them. Alright, let's do it. Look at all these fun candles, gosh. Hey, you know what they didn't account for? With the special edition? All these fucking candles! Look at this shit, it's like blinding me! <laughs> Cause I guess these are just regular ass candles and they all have like a set amount of like light bloom or whatever. And then they must have, I don't know, I guess they either forgot or just were like, eh, they get, they get the idea, we'll just put them all in there. <laughs> so whenever we just look at them all, like this all condensed in like a row, holy shit. Jeez, Meridia herself is like shining right into my irises, burning my eyeballs right in their sockets. Ooh, a special noise. All right, someone's hand. Is there anything behind this? No. Behind this? No. All right, well, fuck me. Oh, look. Ooh, how about behind this one? Nope. Oh, but surely this one. Nope. Okay, well, great. Let's go on down here. Oh, shit, this is him! The Defiler! Destroy Malkaron! Get him, Dre! Boom! Shields up! Yeah, get in there, get in there! Fuck him up! Alright, what do we need? We need some... Let's hit him with the heavy shit, huh? Let's get him marked for death. Creep! Creep! Okay, look, I can just come in here swinging up top. Let's also eat some cooked beef, so we swing a bit faster. Oh! 
Yo, good thing this dude ain't even attacking me. Oh shit! Oh, ah! <laughs> Fuck. All right. Well, <laughs> I saw it coming from like a mile away, but there were too many dudes. I couldn't get the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a dick. All right. Let's take all this. Fine. Take all these. I'll grab all this shit again. Good Lord. What a dickhead. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Or... No, we missed one, didn't we? This dude? Yeah, there we go. And did we get the one right here by the steps? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Activate. Good. Okay. Now let's do a quick save. Eat our beef. Right? Cool. Quick save again. Let's get Dre. Shields up. Good. And mark him for death. Cree. Cree. Accidentally hit Dre with it, but it's fine. Okay. Good. We'll just have to carefully avoid that shit. Jesus! Oh my god, did it hit me somehow? Good lord! Oh, this guy has power and strength beyond measure. All right. We can do it. We can do it. We'll just focus fire on the main man, right? We'll focus him down. Okay, mark for death. Get ya. Eat shit, dude! Fuck. Oh, when he fires them off at point blank, they don't do nearly as much damage. Is it because of the shit that they leave on the ground? Whew. Okay. Let's suck down some resist frost. Good. And ultimate healing. Jesus. Oh shit, someone else is be blasted. Oh shit, he turned into a, a ghost man. Oh, he's about to kill me. All right, let's get some of this. There we go. Vigorous stamina. Why not? Let's get a little bit of vigorous healing as well. Cree, Cree, you. Oh, sink fuck. It's not done yet, Meridia. It's not done yet. Meridia, I'm still fighting a million dudes. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's get Dre back out. Get him, Dre. Get him. Good. Good, good, good. All right. You know what? Hey, perfect opportunity for a little bound battle axe. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Sorry. All right. Whoop. One for good measure. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ghostly remains. Is this them? Bone meal? Is that what they turned into? Okay. Let's turn... Oh, shit. Like going super speed. Let's see. Search all their weird tainted cum or whatever. What else is around here? Some gold. Bone meal. More gold. Gold. More gold. More. Jeez, everyone here was just rich as shit. Okay. Healing potion. Part of someone's bod. Search them. Oh, look, there are two ghostly remains here, huh? Where is there? Nah, I can't tell. Oh, look. One of these hats. Not one of the cool ones, though. Rare limited edition hat. Okay. With a corpse with money. Anything else around here? Okay, I think we're good. This shit. Oh, a deadly paralysis poison. Oh. Neat. All right. Anything up here, though? 
I think we may have scavenged everything in the outer areas, right? Let's make sure and then we'll check the inner areas. Yeah, I think so. Oops, accidentally double equipped. Good. Okay. Now let's... Oh, look, yeah, your actual body. Right, of course. Necromancer's robes. What were they even doing here? What a weird... What a weird area. Did they just, like, hate Meridia or something? What were they hoping to accomplish? All we know is that they were desecrating it, huh? Let's see. Oh, you know what would have been really cool? Is if they were, like the descendant of, or literally still. I, you know, it's possible, huh? We've seen character, recurring characters in this game, despite all the, the time that's passed. But literally one of the Knights of the Nine, who like got, who like turned a bit evil or something, became a necromancer, but still hated Meridia for the events of the Knights of the Nine and all that, right? Shit, maybe they are. Who is Malkaron? Probably someone who's just like a generic necromantic dude, right? All right. Great. Anything else around here? I think we're good. All right, what does this do? Oh, this is the sword, huh? Wow, look at all the creepy ass hands inside of it. Oh shit, the pedestal looks rad as hell, actually. Okay, sure. Ooh, ooh, I'm fading to white. Ooh. Ah, mammoth. Mammoths are a common sight in the tundra of Skyrim, and they are often herded by giants or something. Ooh, God. Hey, Meridia. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. I'm kind of a necromancer too, though, Meridia. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. And there's a lot more than him. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. I'll keep the sword, but find someone else to spread your religion. I'll wield this mighty blade in your name. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> Let's, right? This will be a long string of uh, demons that we agree to serve. Why not? You know what? It wouldn't be Elder Scrolls if we didn't agree to do whatever the fuck in the name of some fucking demon. I'll wield this mighty blade in your name, Meridia. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Cool. Oh no, she's going to kill me! <laughs> oh god, ooh! Great! Ilya, did you see that? I was up there. Did you see me? <laughs> hey Ilya, you, you want a cool new sword? Check this shit I've out. I've got your back. Guess what? I fucking got this from a fucking demon. <laughs> what do you want me to carry? Let's see. Can she, can she actually use it? I bet she can, can't she? Burns for 10 points, and when killing undead, a chance to cause a fiery explosion that turns or destroys nearby undead. Ooh. Man, the damage on it is pretty low. I wonder what it takes to empower it, like a Daedric... Well, no, because there... Yeah, there's no, like, Daedric metal bars or whatever, right? There's no Daedric ingot. Yeah, you just make it using ebony ingots, Daedric armor, right? Huh. Yeah, what do you use to enhance these? I don't remember. I guess ebony? I don't know. Maybe it, it's unique for all of them. Maybe this one's like... I don't know. What's the, what's the brightest ingot? Moonstone? All right. There, Ilya. Do you want that? Let's she doesn't going, care for man. it. <laughs> yeah, I know, Ilya. It's it's not as much damage as the glass sword, is it? Yeah, it's Still no good. Here. All right. What do you I'll want take me it to carry? There we are. Let's see... Cool. Lead on. Thanks, Meridia. Can I take your ball back? No, I can't. What a bummer. All right. Cool. Is it now listed as complete? Oh, it's not. Well, we did it. We did it nonetheless. 
Job's done. Cool. All right. Let us fuck off over to... Where should we go? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. Yeah, look. Hey, right there. <laughs> I think it was... Oh, good lord. I can't even remember. I forgot to even write it down. But someone, some gentle viewer, like I said, you know, prefer not to get it wrong, wrote in, and a few people gave him likes, that this was right over here. And it's one of the better ones, right? Elemental Fury. Pretty neat. I don't think you can use it if you've already got an enchant active, though, right? Yeah. I remember using it a lot uh, back in the day on my dual dagger thief character when the game first came out. But I also remember there was some sort of bug where you could completely fuck everything up. <laughs> I forgot what the bug was about, but it was a pretty bad one. I don't even remember what it was, but I remember there being a pretty bad bug, and when I found out about it, I stopped doing it. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to get over to Solitude and turn this fucking Rufal Axe back into... fucking Clavicus, right? Let's see, let's track that quest, right? Let's see. Return to the Shrine of Clavicus Vile with Barbus and the Rufal Axe. Barbus, do you got anything to say since we've got this fucking axe? Barbus is gone. Barbus is long gone. Okay. So where do we take the axe? Where is, where is their shrine? Oh, here it is. Oh God, it's all the way back here, huh? All right, fuck it. <laughs> What's the quickest route over there? Down to Falkreath maybe? Hmm, could be. Shit, it's either Falkreath or Whiterun. Maybe Riften? Mm, I'm thinking maybe Falkreath is the best bet. Yeah, that's got to be it. All right. Good lord. Or maybe Whiterun, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe we shouldn't even do it yet, right? Nah, fuck it. Let's go do it. Let's go turn it in. I, I want to see the... You get the mask in this game, right? I think. Let's see. Go on up over here. Bring this up. All right. Over yonder. Should we go off-roading? I think we should. Absolutely. Especially since it's chilly up here, huh? Oh, look, yeah, and we can see some of Meridia's cool orbs. Oh, look at that. Do you think people at night look over here and see them? And it helps them, like, be guided in the dark of night inside of the pine woods over to solitude? If you're lost at night, look to the cliffside and you'll see Meridia guiding your path. Oh, hey, what's going on down here? Oh, is this the Thalmor? Who is this? Who is this? Ooh, it is the Thalmor. All right. Oh, shit, and who's that? Walk away, now. Wait, who is this? Who is this now? Hey, who are you? Faldris? I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the oh. goddess of twilight, if you'll excuse me. Oh, okay. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine... All right, shri have a good one. Let's see, what can I get here? Anything good? Never oh, he didn't like that. Oh. oh, come on, you Thalmor prisoner. What are you doing? Come on, 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 come on. Ah! Oh, fuck! Jeez! How come the prisoner is after me and no one else? <laughs> the Thalmor are helping me! Oh my god, they're going to kill this man! I knew it, the Thalmor are evil as hell! I, I'm not one of them. I'm not with the Thalmor. No. <laughs> All right, we can, we gotta quick load out this one. We can't be on the side of the fucking Thalmor. <laughs> like the fucking worst of the worst. <laughs> All right, let's go on down here. Let's see. Let's do a quick save, and then let's see over here. Hey, dude. Hey, what have you got? You got? You got anything good? 82%? Who's this? Is this your leader? Is this your leader over here? <laughs> Guess what? Not any fucking more. I'm about to take their amethyst. Ah! Oh shit! They found me! Oh! Get him, Dre! Get him! Ah! Uh. Alright, good. Ah! Hold up! The prisoner is also- <gasps> Oh my god! Alright, we, we just can't pickpocket them without aggroing the prisoner. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Over here. 
What's up, Justiciar? This doesn't concern you, citizen. Uh, what's wrong with worshipping Talos? It's immoral to worship a man, and it's also illegal. A faithful Imperial citizen would know that. Oh my god. Perhaps there's something you wish to confess. Remain silent. You got me! I believe in Talos. Hey, look Look at those people. <laughs> Vigilance of Stendar, I need some backup. You got me! And so you will die a heretic's death. You didn't kill that guy! <laughs> oh! Alright. Here. <laughs> Vigilance of Stendar, come back! Come back, Vigilance! <laughs> Jesus, the Vigilance suck! Oh, come on, Vigilance, come on. Can I free this man mid- Yeah, free prisoner. There we go. Should we give him an item? If you know any ah! three Ugh. sons and daughters Shit. Of Skyrim, tell them to head the wind. All right. Let's heal on up over here as we get a bit closer. Good. We should probably take care of this wizard lord, right? Before we die. Good lord. Okay. Let's get some magicka going on. Yeah, look. These fucking lightning bolts are ripping right through my whole ass. Okay. Do I have any, like, resist your bullshit ability? I do. It's very weak, though. I'll take it. Okay. Let's see. Great. Oh, you know what? Oh, shit. We should try and use our new ability on this man. Extreme Magicka, activate. All right. And check this shit out. Look. This can now be our friend. What is it again? Command Daedra. Yes. Did it work? It's too powerful! Fuck me. Alright, how about expel it? I expel you, demon! It didn't work, it's too powerful. What a useless spell. <laughs> Alright, good god. This thing's gonna rip me apart. Let's get some more healing. Jeez, heat. Okay, at least there's Stefan is dead. It's the only way out of your misery. Cool. Great. Got them just in time there, Dre. Let's take their clothes. And then... Let's see. Let's get some more Magicka. And now you fight for me, Thalmor dickhead! Let's see, where are they? Oh, we killed them all. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> you are the Wizard Lord? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. Where'd those other dudes go? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one. All right. Let's see. Yo, where where did their bots go to? Ilya, what did you do to them? Did you disintegrate them with ice somehow? <laughs> I love it. Maybe they do have <laughs> like the best death knell or not even death knell. Their best zombie mode. <laughs> Who's got the best one? So fucking guttural. <laughs> Very, uh, actually, incredibly unlike all the hoity toity uh, high elf voice, right? When they become undead, they're just. Ugh. I love it. Look at their fun little boots. Huh. Almost looks um like Morrowind's ebony armor, right? The gold on black. Huh. All right. But where are these other dudes? I would love to take their whatever. Ilya, what did you do to him? I need some sort of like detect corpse ability, right? Shit. Yeah, where have they gone? <laughs> Where have they gone for real? Ilya, I wanted that. They had some sweet loot loot, and guess what I can do now? Carry a shitload of it. I can carry like a million things. Oh, man. All right. Fine. I can't believe that sweet ass command and expel Daedra shit. When the fucking push came to shove, just garbage. <laughs> Too powerful. Maybe it, um, it scales with illusion stuff. I could see that being the case, right? 
if we picked up some illusion magic or whatever. Look, there's some blood. Though, maybe mine. Huh. Yeah, where'd these guys go to? Who knows? F them. You know what? We don't need their amazing and valuable armor and amethyst and gemstones, whatever they had on them. Who needs it? I do. <laughs> it's me. I want it. I want the money. <laughs> I want to buy a house. I want to build the house in Falkreis. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. What kind of vegetables do I need? Do I need leeks? This is Leek City, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Look how fortuitous that we are here. Potatoes. Do I need potatoes? I need two potatoes. Beautiful. Where are the leeks at? Hmm. There's a chicken. Oh, some kabadge. Let's see. How many kabadges do I have? I need two more kabadges. Oh, look. The leeks. Beautiful. All right. Are there any tomates out here? I don't think so. Ooh, and wheat is always good. That's an actual alchemical unit, huh? Cool. Actually, you know what? I got the carry weight. I'm taking them all, baby. Look at this. Ilya, look at me go. I'm in fucking Stardew Valley now. Woo! I'll be your friend in Mineral Town. <laughs> I can pick up all this shit. Oh, I don't need to pick and choose. I don't need to I limit myself you? to five. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm going to become the leak scalper. I'll mark them up for like 200% profit, baby. Holy shit. Oh, what's over here? Nope. Alright, I'll take a picture of like my stacks and stacks of crates and crates of leaks inside of my garage and post the picture on social media and then everyone will get really mad at me. <laughs> Fuck them fucking scalpers, honestly. <laughs> Fuck them, for real. <laughs> Alright, I think we got it all. Good. Okay, let's go on up over to Solitude, huh? Here we are. Beautiful. Oh, I love this. Alright, head on up over here. Oh, you know what? We can do a little bit of shopping in Solitude, huh? Let's go inside some of these stores. That way, we'll have gone into them at least once on video, right? Oh, look! Hey, the trade caravan is here. What's up, everybody? Need something? I think I do. Madron. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve? What do you got? Let's see. Oh, my gosh. All sorts of amazing things. Jeez, even an enchant that I don't know yet. Hmm. All right, we'll have to do this in between videos. But like I said, side. for now, let's investigate the shops here. Because I can't remember if they have any, like, introductory dialogue and stuff. You know how we do. If we're going to shop somewhere in between videos, it's crucial and important that we visit it at least once on video before we do anything in between. Huh? That's my secret rule. Okay. I guess it's not really a secret, though, is it? It's just my rule. Okay, let's go on inside of here. Radiant Raiment. All right. Oh. Hey, hello, hello. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Jeez, what a hater. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind, really. Jeez, are you having a bad day? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Good lord, do you get a lot of business like that? Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Really? I never heard of them. Okay, well, what have you got? Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Let's see. Oh, shit, they've got some rare Alakir shit. Oh, look. I think someone a long-ass time ago said that I should be on the lookout for these. Maybe we should just buy them all? Hmm. They do weigh one unit of weight, but I got a million units of weight! I'm taking them all! I'll take all of them! Woo! <laughs> what else do you have? Anything good? Oh, look. A necklace of peerless... Wow, it's very expensive. They do have some amazing items. Okay, you know what? Color me impressed. You're right. You do have amazing deals and bargains. Okay, can I get rid of any of my garbage, though, here? Oh my gosh, yes, I can. You'll buy this shit? Holy hell. Alright. Necromantic robes. 
Major Health Ring. Let's see. All these sneaking trash amulets. Beautiful. Beautiful baubles, gleaming gemstones. I don't know why I thought of that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why did that guy come to my mind just then when I said Hello, beautiful? <laughs> what is his name? It's Medesi, right? In Rifted. Beautiful Wait. baubles, gleaming gems. Why does that guy stuck with me more than... Uh, fucking Nazim. Everyone Nazim. says like, oh, Nazim, I hear him all the time. Nazim. Fucking old Nazim. Man, you get to the Cloud District often. I never ever heard Nazim talk that much. I don't know why. In all my time playing, I guess I just hung out in Riften too much. Hey, what's up? Do you... Are you the shopkeep here? Biren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Yeah, were you at Rogvir's execution? No. That was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. And that guy lost his. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Hmm. Who is Baron? Baron's my husband. Baron. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Hmm. I kind of like the name Castle Dower. Some might call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Well, let's have a look. Uh, biography of Baron Zaya. It is junk. <laughs> I mean, it is a good read. It is a good read. When we read it, it was very enjoyable. But, uh, man, it's everywhere, huh? <laughs> who's out here buying the biography of Baron Zaya? Come on, who's doing that when you could be stealing it? <laughs> Come back to bits and pieces anytime. All right. I probably will. Let's go on over here. And who's another important vendor? Look, the alchemist. Let's see. Angeline's Aromatics. Do they have anything? Ooh. Oh, oh gosh. Hey, ah, Angeline. Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? Yeah, maybe. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? This is why we did this. Actually, yes. Wow, we can just say that we haven't been to Whiterun before. I'm kind of curious what would happen if we did that. But I want the quest. Yeah, I have. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. Really? My it's a big city. My daughter was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I oh haven't God, heard I from I her did. lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, God, I think she's fucking dead. <laughs> I haven't met her, but I could try to get more information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. If I... Hey, <laughs> Angela, Angeline. If I happen to find her and she's... She's a little dead. I'm about to be a master conjurer. Would you want me to undeaderize her forever? <laughs> I can do that. She'll she'll only really be able to say, Ugh! But it's better than nothing. <laughs> Aromatics. So you sell perfumes. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients. That sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. I love that explanation, right? that they had to sh they were cha they changed around their business because of the impact of the war right we've heard similar things before but not not quite to this degree right like how oh yeah i'm a blacksmith i'm getting orders left and right oh people are angry at me as a blacksmith because i'm uh giving um equipment to whatever army or both even like wartime profiteering or whatever what have you got for sale take a look whoa these are potions. Do you think she has bug musk? My fucking dumber ass, as soon as I was like, oh shit, aromatics. Oh, you got some of that bug musk? No. What would you even do with it here in Skyrim land? Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Oh, I won't forget you. All right, let's go on out here. Let's see, and last but not least, 
the smithy, right? Oh wait, there's all these people out here too. They, they do selling and trading, right? Hey, Yvette's son. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Well, what do you need from the docks? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. I hope I didn't steal them. I was in there, in their warehouse. That shouldn't be a problem. Great. Get back to me when you're done and I'll give you something for your time. Do you think they'll try and kill me if I go down there? Hey, is your spiced wine made from a secret recipe? <laughs> Why would I say this? <laughs> Why would I say this just out of nowhere? <laughs> This is such a, like, like Disco Elysium dialogue choice. <laughs> like, Inland Empire has spoken to me and it's like, Hey, uh, is your spiced wine made from a secret recipe? <laughs> oh, yes. A secret family recipe. The only good thing my father, Octiev, ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. Wow. Damn. Okay. I thought, I thought one of the big reasons was because, you know... Mead is massively more popular here. <laughs> All right, how are your sales? They're adequate. Honestly, I rely on the business brought in by the burning of King Olaf, and that's not wow. likely to happen this year. What's the burning of King Olaf? Well, it's a great big festival put on by the bards every year. They burn an effigy of old King Olaf. It's quite a bit of fun. I think we read a book about King Olaf, right? The bards give out spiced right? wine during the festival, so they put in a big about. order. And then, for weeks after, demand is so high, I can barely keep up. But with the death of High King Torig, the festival has been declared in poor taste. So it looks like it won't happen this year. Mm, in poor taste. Unlike this amazing spiced wine! <laughs> Just what you see here. Let's see. Huh. Oh, yeah, there it is. What's it do that's amazing? I think it has the same effect on me as normal wine, doesn't it? Oh no! Oh wow! The effects are... Almost double. Not quite, but almost. Huh. Okay. Neat! Well, I don't- I don't actually need any. <laughs> I steal almost there. all my food. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. What's up, Yala? You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. Cabbage. Or leak? I don't know. I just stole a whole bunch recently. <laughs> they just let me take it now. I don't know. It's weird. I bet you get some interesting people through here buying apples. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that I do. You do? I had a messenger from Dragon Bridge stop here on his way to the Blue Palace not too long ago. At the he apple was very store? Nervous. Mentioned something Fresh about fish. needing Fresh help. Fish. All right. Don't you have trouble getting ripe goods here? No, I just saw a farm. I have my ways, but it's not easy these oh. days. Oh. The Black Blood Marauders have been plundering ships off the coast. A lot of people been hurt by their foolishness. Hmm. They're plundering your shipments of leeks and tomatoes. <laughs> Pirate farmers. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Let's see. I guess if it's in mass enough quantities, you can, like, fence off crates of produce, right? But you kind of have to go and act quickly, right? Because it'll go when bad. You figure out how to spend money. Okay. Let's see. What's up with you, Atoff? Youngest bard at the Bard's College. At your service. Oh, you buying some tomates? What's up, Advar? I've got some salmon to sell. Oh, my gosh. I'll never buy fresh salmon. Fish for you. Hey, where do you catch the fish? Down at the docks. There are a few good spots if you can avoid the East Empire Company workers and those red wave thugs. What do the East Empire Company workers have to do with it? They don't let you go fishing? You and your daughter were at the execution. Swari, yes. It's been hard on her. The girl misses her uncle. I've tried to explain that Rodvir did something bad and that we all have to be accountable for our actions. But the child feels what she will. Uh, okay. How much See is your sand? Man, he sure does have a lot of things that aren't salmon. <laughs> he actually has remarkably very few pieces of salmon. Damn, Riften like blows him out of the water. Fucking A. Alright. Maybe it's because people already came through and bought all times. of them. Maybe that's what the bard did. Alright, and finally let's go up and check this dude, right? I can't remember. We may have actually checked in with this guy before. Oh, aren't there two here? There's like two smithies or whatever. There's this bald guy. Wonder oh yeah, like hey, you're you Baron! Baron! 
Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? You make armor for the Imperials? It's almost all I have time for these days. The men training here in solitude, and the troops out in the field, they all need weapons and armor. Mm. You should look into joining. They could use every hand they can get. Maybe I will. You're pretty dedicated to the Empire, then. Ah, uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her Lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. Hm. I guess that's Jarl's man now. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. Hmm. Have you considered getting out there and fighting? I mean, he's probably more valuable as a blacksmith, right? I think I would, if it weren't for my son. Oh, really? And my wife. Oh, same I would have my hide if I even suggested I might step foot on a battlefield. You think storm cloaks and legionnaires are dangerous? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you think they're dangerous? Wait till you see my wife! <laughs> God. <laughs> Truly a game that came out in 2011, huh? <laughs> Alright, Fletcher. Let's see what's up Let with this dude. You see anything you like. I think we talked to this fella as well? I don't know. Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome, my friend. How may I help you on this fine day? Whoa, I need some arrows that can take down a dragon, ellipses. Why, of course. And will you also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows? Or perhaps a quiver that dispenses beer. Yes, please. Look, if you want arrows, we have them. But don't insult my intelligence. Hmm. So how do I bring down dragons with arrows? Like, if you're if you're an archer, how, how do you do that? All right. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Perhaps. All right, well, I suppose I'll do it. Probably when next we come back, we will actually have uh, begun things in Falkreath, right? We'll fast travel on over there. Maybe we'll do a little bit of vendoring, like we said, all that good stuff. And we'll be in Falkreath ready to go check out the Rufal Axe or something like that. Maybe we'll be somewhere else to do something else. Who can say for sure? It's a world filled with adventure. Nonetheless, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading, I believe. Right? I think I've still got some things on my list to read. I haven't crossed them all out yet. Let's see here. Hmm. How about... Ooh, how about Twin Secrets? I don't think we've read that. It is on the list. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, Twin Secrets. We got a skill point from this one, I believe. Let's see. Let me cross it off here. There we go. Twin secrets. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink just as well. All right. Twin secrets by Brarilu Theron. These secrets I lay down, knowing full well that none may ever take advantage of them. I'm upon my deathbed and am loath to see knowledge of any sort lost to the mists of time. Take these as the foolish reminiscences of an old man, or the insights of a master enchanter. I care not which. It is well known that enchanting is limited where it once was not. The best enchanters of this age can imbue almost any spells into the metal and leather of armor and weapons, However, once enchanted, such an item will not enchant again. It is called the Law of Firsts. The first enchantment is the only one that takes. Oh, is this in reference to, um, like Morrowind? If it, if the item had the capability, you could stack loads of different spell effects on it, right? In my life... I've traveled widely. I've seen Somerset Isle commune with Sijix, walk the shores of Akavir. I had hoped to see Lost at Mora before I passed. That is not to be. I've even done the unthinkable. I've spoken to a dragon. <gasps> Dragons are said to be gone from the world. Yet I found one, 
sheltered in the smoking ruins of Vardenfell? I came upon it. What the fuck? Is it, are you for real? My magic proved to be sufficient to defeat the beast. If that gives you cause to wonder, I will not deny that I was once a pyromancer of great skill. Exhausted and near the end of my spells, I parlayed with the Wyrm, offering it life if it would share its secrets. Haughty to the end, it agreed to one secret for one life. I asked for its name, but it told me it would rather die than surrender that. What? Why? Weird. Sometimes I'll just look at a dragon and know its name. <laughs> Instead, it offered me something else. And that is how I learned how to defy the law of firsts. The law itself is inviolate. However, the skillful enchanter can weave two enchantments simultaneously into an item. For men and elves, the limit is two. The dragon said that men and elves have two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears. I asked why that mattered, and the beast just laughed. What's the dragon's name, Michael Kirkbride? <laughs> the enchanter must weave one enchantment with the left hand, while weaving the other with the right. The eyes must focus on one, and only one enchantment, while the ears only pay attention to the other. When I asked about my legs, the beast laughed again. I spent two years mastering the technique. Just last month, I made a sword with both fire and fear enchantments. Now, I'm too weak to make another. I go to my death victorious, for I have done what no other enchanter in modern times has done. Wow, so this is like a lore canon explanation for how you do it. Wow, that's very fitting considering we're about to be such a person, right? What's our enchanting at right now? We're like super ultra close to it, aren't we? We're like, yeah, we're 99. Shit, in between videos here, we may get it up to the requisite 100, right? And we'll be able to start pumping out double enchants, right? Oh, amazing. All right, well, when next we come back, perhaps we'll have that to look forward to. Until next time, please take care of each other. When we ha- <coughs> <laughs> We're gonna do that one again. <laughs> <laughs>